This is Sydney Theodora. Um, I actually walked down to the park at the end of my building. Um, and I thought I'll just do the video here. It's uh, about sunset time. Uh, the sunset's right over there in Poo. I live in Puhi. Uh, and then it rises right over here. Um, I can see it rise if I go over to the Marriott Beach uh, in the morning. Anyway, um, I got two good phone calls. Uh, so this will be my update on the pathology report from my surgery. Today is a, a full week. I had my surgery on the 7th. Today's the April 14th, 2016. Uh, last night at 5 o'clock, uh, Dr. Tarada from Oahu, my oncologist specialist, uh, I just can't cross my legs yet, uh, called. Uh, I was really excited. Um, he said he has the results from pathology. I don't need chemo or radiation. So I was really excited about that. Um, he said, um, you know, we do have precancerous cells. That uh, we need to see a pap in three months, and uh, if that's good, then we can just do a pap once a year. So that's pretty much all we talked about. Surgeons are busy. So today, my OB specialist here, who has been doing all of this for the last two years, uh, Dr. Waters called me. She said, I'm leaving Kauai on May 19th started to cry. Uh, we didn't have an OB specialist. Uh, that's why I didn't have a PAP for almost two years. I moved here from Maui and um, was waiting uh, to get an appointment for my PAP. And because our other specialist was uh, retiring, um, I was on a wait list for the new one. And then when the new one came in, the list was so long it took a really long time so normally I would never miss uh, but it wasn't up to me I couldn't get an appointment um, and I didn't want a regular doctor to do it I my regular doctor was on Maui but a regular doctor here would have been a male somebody I don't even know doesn't even know my history and I decided to wait um, in the past I had had a problem with vulva heat called vulvodynia uh, because I'm a writer, I sit on the vulva and that causes heat. Uh, they thought it was cancer. Uh, so I've been with a specialist since then. Um, anyway, so Dr. Waters said I'll be leaving on the 19th. I wanted just to call a couple of my special patients. You were one of them. Um, I've been with her since she first arrived. Uh, she had a little boy. Uh, she definitely wants to spend more time with him, so she's moving um, to Washington it's a, for a part-time position. Um, she said they didn't offer that here at all. So um, I, I said, I do have a question and um, I'm glad you called because uh, Dr. Tarada called and I gave her uh, his, uh, his uh, little notes I wrote down and she said, that's very good news. And I said, okay, does that rid the HPV in me? And, um, or is it gonna tackle my other organs? She said, that's what we're gonna find out in the three month PAP. Um, if it has moved out and above, uh, then yes, we have a problem. If not, we have removed your HPV by removing the cervix. We have removed, we have removed it from your body. So that's what I'm hoping for. And because we caught it early, <laughs> I should get good news. So the PAP will tell me. So I just have to worry for three more months. That's been my life for two years. Um, yeah, I hope so. Um, I was never diagnosed for an HPV until I moved here. And um, so, yeah, we pretty much know when I got it. And... It's, it's, it's um, just a couple other things, and then I'll go into that again on the, on the three-month checkup. Um, last night, I did have a blocked bowel, so that was six days of no bowel movement. So when you have a blocked bowel, you either have to go into the doctor's office, and they remove it, or you have to do it yourself. I had been through it after my second uh, pregnancy, so I knew what to do. Um, so that was a painful day. 
now that's regular. So I'm fine. I didn't sleep last night. They're, they want me to wean from the pain meds. And oh, there's a rooster. I might have to go chase him. Usually when they see me, they run because I'm used to chasing them. They sleep in trees. Uh, here, I'll show you a picture of this one I'll be chasing in a minute. There he is. He sees me, he'll probably run. Oh, there's another one over there. Oh, two to chase. At night, they sleep in trees. Uh, you can see all the scaffolding. They're painting my unit. They're, they finished my side. They're coming around here. Oh, uh, there's another one. Where's he? Oh, he's up there. See, they sleep in the trees. So if, um, if you're not going to chase them away, they're going to sleep in the tree by your bedroom window. And then that is what wakes you up at 4 in the morning. Here's another path to that waterfall. Um, there's a waterfall. You can hear it. I gotta walk down there. It's getting so over the brushes so much now. It's gonna be hard to get down there. But it's a pretty little park. I have, there's like three parks in here. Um, this is the closest one to my door. So I'm really walking real slow like a handicapped person. A post-surgery person. I'm leaving the sunglasses on because I didn't put any makeup on. I don't even want to put lipstick on or blush. I'm lucky to take a bath. This is how I do it. If, if it kind of smells, I never smell and I don't sweat. So if it kind of smells, I take a shower. Um, but okay, so anyway, last night was really tough. Um, so the pain meds only last four hours. So you sleep and then you're back up four hours. So I'm taking pain meds at night. The oxycodone, I think I have six left. So that's gonna last me six more nights. Uh, I still take the ibuprofen during the day, like twice a day, 600 milligram. Um, it really doesn't help the dull pain. Every time I eat, uh, that's where I seem to get pain. So eat small doses and everything room temperature. As soon as you eat something cold, your body freaks out. I just wanted to tell you that the IV, when they put it in, it went in my arm. Um, and I told her I would need the shot or gel. They had the shot. Uh, it's mandatory. I wouldn't let them put the IV in without it because when they take it out and after, there's no pain. Um, so I had no pain from that. They've taken blood from both arms uh, because I was freaking out. They did pretty good. This one was bleeding. The last day when I checked out, the IV bag had been beeping for quite a while and nobody knew. I don't know what all these beeping noises are. My bag was dry so the blood was backing up into the IV bag. I was the only one left on the maternity ward that morning. Um, so maybe they sent all the nurses home. I don't know. But all of a sudden, I didn't see any nurses like that whole day. I had to take the IV cart to the nurse's station and find hope. Um, after surgery, I didn't have bleeding, and to this day, I don't have bleeding. Um, when they took the catheter out, I had a very small amount of blood, but they gave me pads and stuff. But that was a waste. Didn't need it. So that's exciting. Um, I usually have very bad periods, so that's nice. Um, I've been alone for a few days now. My caretakers are all gone. Um, my landlord lives next door to me. Uh, she owns the unit next to me. So um, she is, uh, she actually works three jobs putting her kids through college. So she's been great about checking in on me and uh, picking things up. Um, and then uh, my editor lives down the street, I'd say three miles away. So poor guy. He's 10 years older than me, so he's like 64. And uh, tomorrow he's going to take me to get a new puzzle. I've been puzzling, and um, it's been r really helpful. And then uh, he's going to take me to get some munchies. It said no raw vegetables, and that's kind of my diet. So um, I'm going to try celery, because celery and cream cheese is my favorite snack food. Um, but I'll know on the three month, if the three month, uh, pap doesn't say I kicked the HPV virus, then I'm still in trouble. Uh, then I'm going to have to make sure my diet is strictly live foods again, um, which is fine. That's my favorite. Live foods is raw food. And, um, so I have no problem with that. All right. I think that's everything. I kind of made some notes, um, and, um, you can hear the roosters. They only annoy me seriously at 4 a.m. when you want to sleep in and you have your bedroom window open and they're in the tree next to you and there's like four of them. Um, the county workers who own condos in here, they're up at 4 in the morning. So it's kind of like the first person awake in the condo.
nose and wakes up every rooster because it's like, oh, the farmer's awake. He's going to feed me if I annoy him to death. No, we're not farmers. This isn't farmland. Like After the hurricane Aniki uh, happened in, um, gosh, that was when I was 23, 20-some years ago, uh, uh, all the cages got knocked over, so they've just been letting them roam free to kill them, to eat the centipedes. Because uh, we do have a centipede issue. I've been bit multiple times. Uh, it's another story. And it's so, oh my gosh, there was one this long crawling down our wall the other day. By the time I ran in the house to get the bug spray, he was gone. I don't know where he went, but I had just come home from work. It was like 10 p.m. And I lost him. It was dark and I didn't have my flashlight. So I was like, okay, the only place he's going to crawl to is our building. He's going to come in somebody's screen. Uh, and really bite us bad. I've been bit in bed. I've been bit recently right here. Oh my god, it swelled so bad. It was horrible. Um, I've been bit in the arch like four times by the same one. Um, yeah, I've been bit been bit quite a few times. Uh, if they come in, they like to crawl in bed and get cozy. They like to be in towels and blankets and they love to crawl inside pillows. So if they're going to be in the house, they're going to crawl in bed with you. All right, that's about it. I'm going to sign off before this gets too long to download. Aloha from Kauai. Uh, had a rough night, not having a great day. Tomorrow will be better. I will show you my scars. And maybe I'll have some makeup on since Bruce is going to take me out of the house, which I'm afraid to do, but I'm going to do it. Be a brave girl. I'm going to walk like a snail, but I'm going to go. Bye.